Ağust Gülbenkian Müzesi'nin önündeyiz. Yine sıra dışı bir hikaye. Ermeni asıllı bir ailenin oğlu Üsküdar'da, İstanbul'da doğuyor. Fransa'da, İngiltere'de eğitim görüyor. Ee, ve e, o zamanın yeni atılımlarını gerçekleştirenlerden bir girişimci, jeoloji mühendisliği okuyor. E, petrol alanında çalışmalar yapıyor ve e, müthiş bir zenginliğe ulaşıyor. Oradan kazandığı gelirle dünyanın eşi benzeri olmayan bir koleksiyona imza attığı söyleniyor. Gelin e, Lisbon'a bıraktığı o büyük kültürel mirası birlikte görelim. Gördüğümüz koleksiyonda gerçekten hani döneminin en başarılı örneklerini toplamaya gayret etmiş. Bunun için çok büyük bir sanat kurulu heyeti kurmuş. Bunun için bir vakıf kurmuş ve bu vakıf dünyanın birçok yerine yayılmış. Sinemadan, operaya, e, aklınıza gelebilecek birçok sanat alanında e, desteklerde bulunmaya başlamışlar. E, i̇çeride gördüğümüz koleksiyonda e, kuratörlerin özellikle dikkat ettiği Gülben Kiyan'ın koleksiyondan seçmeye çalıştıkları sadece e, sanat ve işçiliğiyle önemli oluşlarının dışında içerik olarak da e, çok farklı konulara temalara değinmeye çalışmışlar. <gülüyor> Thank you for having us, Ines, and we're wondering your perspectives on why Gulbenkian's uh, museum is such an asset and the collection to Lisbon. The collection uh, represents, in a way, the, the best that mankind has produced since 2300 BCE until as late as the 1930s. And it also reflects the taste and preferences of a very unique person, Mr. Gulbenkian himself. He was a man born in Ottoman Turkey into an Armenian community. He went into diaspora. He lived a cosmopolitan life in Europe. He built his collections first on, on one hand from a very personal, emotional interest in specific areas that pertain to his culture, but then he also wanted to build an outstanding art collections from all points of view. And in Portugal, this is really a unique collection. There is no other type of collection that has this breadth uh, in terms of places of origin, uh, dates of origin, and in terms of quality. I also understand the building is very important and it is part of the heritage itself. Yes. Why did you did he choose this building? Now this particular building was not of his choice. Uh, Gulbenkian died in 1955 and the foundation was established in Lisbon by his will um, and the whole project was therefore developed after his death. So what happened is there was a, a, a selection of the best in terms of modernist architecture that was being done at the time in the museum sector. Uh, so the architecture and this visual architecture that we see, which is uh, minimalist and influenced by brutalist architecture as well, uh, was not a choice of Mr. Gulbenkian. 
as he died before the foundation was established. The foundation is a result of his will uh, and was established in 1956. Uh, this building was inaugurated in 1969 and it really reflects the best of and most contemporary approach to museum design at the time. Today, of course, the building itself is considered a heritage site, as is the building of the foundation behind me. The whole complex is considered a heritage site and the museography itself is considered a heritage site, which in a way also offers very specific challenges to our team of curators and specialists as to how we keep uh, uh, studying and exhibiting these works of art so that they make sense in the 21st century and it doesn't feel that they're just entering a time capsule when they come in. Thank you, Inesh. It's such a beautiful place and um, we really understand that it's a heritage site, not just in terms of collection, but also in terms of its purpose. And it's a unique gift to Lisbon, but also a gift from Lisbon to the world. I want to encourage everyone and I think that this, this museum might have special meaning from our visitors coming in from Turkey and I really want to encourage everyone to come to the museum. I know that Portugal has got so much to offer and Lisbon has so much to offer but I really think that this will be a special moment both for our Turkish visitors and of course for our Armenian visitors that come in uh, the, to, to meet this man in the opposite side of Europe to that in which they live and lead their lives. And thank you so much for your visit. Come back soon. girer girmez önce gördüğümüz e, topladığı paralar. E, bu da tabii e, metaforik olarak onunla özdeşleşiyor. E, özellikle Yunanistan'dan ilk paraları toplamış. Koleksiyonculuğa bu şekilde başlamış. Ondan sonra gördüğümüz Duyguların Masadaki Yeri adlı koleksiyon, ee, İranlı şair ve seramikçilerin e, tabakları işledikleri motifler e, duygularını anlatmasından dolayı çok enteresan bulunmuş. Ondan sonra e, İran halıları, Türkiye halıları, Ermeni e, eserleri ile devam ediyor sergi. Kısacası Mezopotamya'nın tüm zenginliklerini Avrupa'da görebileceğimiz sıra dışı bir müze.